Okay. Hey, friends. I'm in the dark here. The recording has started because I needed to start the recording from my office and then shut the door and then come out here to the main room. Macaulay was ready for bed. We're trying to get in bed and he's not ready for bed. So I'm back with Macaulay back in the kitchen. He's going to hang in the dimmed light living room with a movie on. Well, we do our rise call and then we'll try again. Was not ready. I'm going to grab my tea here, you guys. I just worked out, so I need to take a shower. I should steep some water because I think I have some more, get some more water going. Who's joining us? Hey, whoever just joined us, I'll be right to back. Let me know if you can hear me. Hey, who's on? This is Tina have... Kelly. Oh, hi, friend. So, let's see. Was that Carissa that just spoke? Yeah. Can you not oh. hear me? I, no, I can. I you both spoke at the same time, and I was oh. just I started the recording so I could tell the whole sad story about how I tried to put Macaulay to bed. I was a good mom. I did it on time, and now he's watching Secret Life of Pets in the living room. <laughs> seriously I'm so glad that you're you have four kids because then I know I can tell you these things and you're not like hanging up with me going how does she not have him in bed at night but he just is like a night owl I don't know how to explain it and if he didn't know how to crawl out of his crib it wouldn't be a concern I would just put him in there but I don't want him to keep crawling out and like teach himself it's a game so he's only gotten up twice so we're just not putting him in until he's tired basically so then he just goes to bed what time does he nap until? Well, this is just it. Today, I thought I would, I planned for this call tonight. This is a good lesson for, for people in professionalism. Like, I really tried to plan for this. So we got him up at 8, didn't let him sleep any later past. And then we put him down at 1 instead of 2 or 2.30. Um, so Nate was still home when I put him down, where sometimes I keep him up so he can play with Daddy, and then he takes a late nap, put him yeah. down. And then he got up about four so that's earlier than normal he's usually he usually naps till like five and then i thought it for sure he'd be ready but he's just a little spit like he's happy but he's just not ready for bed he's not rubbing his eye like he's no signs of being tired at all he's like his mom well and you have to think last night how late was he up we were still talking at 10 when i got home from that party and stuff you know so if i get yeah. him down a little after nine tonight that is still earlier you know so i gotta be right. i gotta with kids, you guys get it. And same thing with hostesses. You can't just go from like one extreme to the next. Oh, what just happened? <laughs> oh, we got scared. It's the scary part. I know. I don't really know if this movie's even age appropriate for you. <laughs> when the big dog comes in. Do you know Secret Life of Pets? Yeah. <laughs> when the big dog comes to stay with them, Macaulay gets a little scared of the big dog. Hey. Are you recording already? Yeah. Oh. I had to start it so I could be out here. I know so the people are going to hear these Macaulay stories. I'm going to post in the recorded, though, like fast forward the first five or ten minutes, like whatever it ends okay. up being. It was five. Um, Miranda's on. Yeah, who else is on? Tina's on. Um, Brandy said she's calling in. Okay. Do you want to apologize? Did you, post, did you post a quick reminder? Um... I guess maybe I should have said, can you quick? And then I'll start, then we'll start. I'm going to quickly grab him um, a water so he has it. So then he doesn't hopefully interrupt us. Here, Macaulay. Come here, mom's going to call. You're going to watch a scary movie. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm a super good mom. Here you go. You want this? Oh, you want to have a snack? Really? Do you think that this is, there's a problem with having hey, The this? thing is that we're all moms, I think, or most of us are, so we get it. I yeah, know. it's okay. Ella, I put Ella upstairs to bed, and now I hear her giggling profusely upstairs in her bedroom, so I'm sure we'll be back down soon. Yeah, and how old is she? Ella, Carly is seven, Ella is five. 
Yeah. My eight-year-old, five-year-old, and three-year-old were like running back and forth upstairs. I'm like, it is bedtime. Stop getting up. Go mm-hmm. to sleep. This is not a game. And then, of course, I got Nora just chilling here. Does that work? <laughs> what? Does that work? Like how you nice said, go to bed, it's not a game. Is that how you said it to them? Uh, the first seven times. <laughs> <laughs> Asking because I feel like Macaulay's not receptive to anything I say nice. He really is only like, stay in your bed because your Kindles are gone for the rest of the week. Okay. Oh, see, okay. So you can kind of threaten. I can't. There's nothing to threaten a two year old with. He's not even two. But he knows because he threw the biggest temper tantrum at class today at, at our mom's class and Nate was with me. And when we got home, Nate's like, I can see why you've looked so like beaten down lately. I'm like, yeah, I'm not making it up. I try to be like, Macaulay, are you making a good choice? Yeah. You did not yeah. do that. And now I'm just like, you little, and then a bunch of swear words are going through my head, but I don't say them out loud. Okay. I'm ready, Carissa. Are you? I'll sit down yep. here. Okay. Hey people. It is, um, oh my gosh, what's the date? The 26th, right? 20. Yep. Awesome. Of September. Let me back this up to get my face. Okay. I'm sitting at my kitchen counter here with Macaulay next to me having graham crackers. And, um, we are so excited about this next group. So for all of you that are new, New to the group, welcome, and for all of you that are returning and participating in your second or third or fourth group, we're so excited to have you. Um, Carissa, do you want to talk a little bit about like this group and maybe differences and kind of expectations? Yes. So, well, those, well, and I know most of everybody knows everybody here, um, or you've seen our names and things like that. So we have some new faces as well. So I just want to kind of throw that out that I'm obviously I'm Carissa and I'm from Green Bay, Wisconsin with four oh, kids. Yeah. So you're probably going to see one in almost all these um, zoom calls. So uh, just a quick heads up. She I'm training her young. Um, and then Kayla, she's um, in final act, Wisconsin with her kiddo Macaulay. So we're, this is separate orgs, but combined together. So that's kind of how that works. We're not, we're not all together. We're separate and we just kind of combine forces because Kayla has some strengths that I have, that I lack in weakness, um, and then vice versa. So, um, so the, thank you everyone for being here. I know it's, you know, late, well, for me it's late, but, um, so the difference with, (laughs) I know I'm a grandma. So for this LIT series, so this, I I know a lot of, there was a lot of questions with, you know, what do we have to do? What are the expectations? I'm not sure. I don't know. I kind of want it, but I'm, oh, so when you're coming into this, come into this with a positive attitude and a can't like a can do attitude and be very coachable because, um, if you come in and you think, Oh my gosh, I can't do this. This is too hard. Then it's going to, you're just going to like stress yourself out. So just come into this with a clear mind that you're going to do this. You're just going to commit to yourself, commit to the consistency of working your business. Like you already have been doing. Um, and you're going to get, once you hit that first level of promotion, you're basically going to get paid double for what you're, what you're already doing anyway. Um, I just like to say that up front because I know there's a lot of fear. People fear that they're not going to make it. They're not going to promote. And that's okay. Like if you don't, if you don't promote, it's not like you can't ever do an LIT series again. Like these are made to help you. Um, these are made to help you skill up and, um, continue to grow and, um, work your business and just, um, just dig a little bit deeper than what you normally would. So what the expectations are is, um, we have it laid out. It's in the pin post. So if all of you can comment on there that you read it and you understand and you're good to go with all of the expectations, um, that would be awesome. But, uh, we kind of pulled the reins in a little bit with this group. So, um, every week we are anticipating all of you to hold at least one event. Um, whether that's online, um, in-home, vendor event, one event a week. And then the expectations for recruiting is one to two a month, right? A consistent one to two a month. Um, and then also the other um, expectation is tracking your um, your results. Here, Here's a kid up already talking right now. Um, one of my kids upstairs. Oh, no. Um, tracking your results. So those are like three big things to just take notes on. That's in the pin post as well. Um, and I want to yeah, you can hop, you talk on real quick. 
Okay, so really quick. So what Chris is saying is homework number one, if you're taking notes or watching the recording, because we'll keep this call short tonight, we, we want to keep it straight into the point kind of how excited we are about this and then what the expectations are. So um, read the pin post and comment. That's what Chris is saying, because that is going to be um, setting the tone for the group. And when you comment, you're saying, I get that I might not be there today, but Carissa, Kayla, and all of these amazing women and men that are in this group, I think it's all women this time, but all of these amazing people are going to be asking me, how are my events going? How is my recruiting going? How is inviting to discover wild tree going? So the expectation is what Carissa said. Now, Carissa said, when you um, think about tracking, what Carissa just said, there's a Google Doc, it's live, and we're all going to track together. Carissa and I, too, are going to share how many people we've reached out to, how many events we have booked. You'll be able to see at the end of the month if we had 10 booked and we only held seven, you'll see our real life cancellations as well, all of that stuff. So I left one person's name in there as a sample. It's a fictitious person. P.S. That person's not on our team, but I left it in there so you can see, but it's right away. It should be editable. I think I made the link so everyone can type their name on and start to track. And we're going to start that in the next week. If you want to right away go this week, that's awesome. I know Brandy tonight, I had told her, you know, um, the biggest focus is sometimes we get distracted with all of mine and Carissa's Tuesday tips or fun videos or calls at 8.30 at night. But the reality is right now, between now and like maybe the first week of October into the first week of October, you need to be working on events or else you're going to get behind right off the bat. And like Carissa said, we don't want you to feel like um, you're not doing good enough or you're not, you're stressing yourself out over numbers. We want to help you learn to grow a consistent business. So that. That's the point of the tracking and what we're going to be holding you accountable to. Homework number two is really easy for the next week. Read everybody's intro. Cheerlead them on. Get to know these people. We, get, we formed a really great friendship last time, and um, we'll hold calls like this. I think every other week is what we decided. We might flex the time to get more people on because I know we've got a couple time zones, and we also have a couple times where like Mondays didn't always work for everyone, so maybe we'll throw in a Thursday night. I think we're going to base it a little bit more flexible around mine and Carissa's party schedule so we're not in the car and like not able to see your guys' faces. So stay tuned because we'll post when we're going to do it. But we'll do a little less because last group we did every week, and what we're finding is we'd rather have you spend that extra hour doing a booking blitz on your own or reaching out and recruiting or spending quality time with your family. And then when you're working your business, really working it. So if you guys think we need to chat more often, we can throw a zoom line out there and all of you guys can gather too and do brainstorming sessions and things um, because we don't have all the answers. So get to know your people. So that's homework number two. And then um, we really want to talk about kind of the fun part, homework number three, your vision. Like you need to have a goal and a vision here so you can reap the rewards of leadership. So Carissa, do you want to start out with some of the perks of leadership? And then I want to talk yes. about one in particular that really hit home today. It was perfect timing. God always does that, right? Um, but talk about what they get when they're a leader. Yes. So this is the exciting part. So all of you here are workers. You're all already sharing the mission. You're doing um, events. You're reaching out like you're being a consistent worker, whether you've been here a year, two years, or a month. Um, so the perks of leadership is, well, first of all, it's um, a pay raise. You're giving yourself a pay raise. So um, you're not waiting for someone to evaluate you and tell you if you're doing a good job or not. You're doing it for yourself. So um, the breakdown, you know, you're either instead of making 20%, you're going to make 40% on your personal business. I mean, for doing the same amount of work and you're making 40%, that's a few extra hundred dollars a month. Um, so think about that. Um, and then you also earn percentages on your team, but I'm not going to get into, I'm not going to get into all the details of that. Cause sometimes that gets super confusing. So we can post or talk about that at a later date. Don't you think Kayla? Yeah, I think we'll post the comment in the next week or so. We'll post a few other reminders and perks about vision and stuff, but yeah. So, so you're going to get a huge pay increase is what Chris yeah. is saying. Um, second thing. You're going to get recognition from the company. So the company um, is going to recognize you either through, um, through they'll send you flowers. You're going to get recognition through your team. You're going to get recognition through other wild tree reps across the country. And um, if you love recognition, it's great. It's, you know, it's, I mean, think about working for like Apple or something and you did something great. You probably won't really be recognized. It's nice within wild tree because we're just that much, we're a smaller company and that people really recognize you and reward you for what the work that you are doing. Um, you'll get, um, special perks from, um, being part of like leadership. So this is called rise to leadership. 
So in February is um, leadership conference. And if you're a team leader by, what is it, Jan uh, December, if you're a team leader by December, you get to go to Rise, which is in Las Vegas. I mean, I mean, I just want to go to Las Vegas for, I mean, for a few My days. Booked. The trains are booked. We booked our flights over the weekend. Um, so that you get an invite to that. Um, you also, for recognition, you get to walk across stage at um, conferences and things like that, too. So that's some other special recognition that you get. Um, and you're, being a, what? you're forgetting a big one. I am? Yeah. Well, I think it's big. I like business bucks. And you get extra oh, business. Just say business bucks? <laughs> okay. Sorry. Yeah. I, was, that's a, I think that's a great perk. I love that. Yes. Is it 25 when you meet your mid-month minimums or just 15? 15, yep. 15, okay. So everyone knows you get business bucks. You submit 350 by the 10th. You submit 350 by the 25th. You do. You get $15 by the 10th. You get $10 by the, 20, um, by the 25th submitting 350. If you do it all, you get $25. If you're a team leader and you meet your mid-month minimums by the 15th, right? 15th mm -hmm. of you get another fifteen dollars. So, like, think about it. I mean, that how much um, how much money you can get for uh, catalogs, supplies. Um, you can use those business bucks towards registering for conference too, um, as well. So, yeah, that is a big one. I, I sometimes tend to forget that, and then I get really excited when I look at my back office, and I'm like, "Where's that fifteen dollars for?" Um, yeah. And also, you get special credits when it, when it comes to. Um, like the fall products and stuff, you get a special credit um, as well into your account um, for free money for um, buying new fall products or spring products as well. Yeah, it adds up to be $480 a year in business bucks is what I earn as a leader. Think about that, $480 to buy samples and catalogs in a year is what I earn as a leader. And then also about another 120. So it adds up to be about $600 total between the business bucks and then the special credits we get after conferences and when new products come out, like Carissa was saying, it's at different levels, you get different amounts, but that's about what I get a year from Wild Tree, $600 just products and um, bonus supplies for doing my business. I love that one. I just think that's great because if you don't have a lot of money to invest, I believe 150,000% that Wild Tree is a great business opportunity is you get what you need to do your first events and you can make enough then at that point to get some momentum going where you're not always having to invest to make. You don't have to carry stock. You you guys know it. I don't have to send a lecture to you guys, but I just am so passionate about that because for me, that was huge when I was working full time. If I'd have had to like buy stuff to do it I don't know that it would have been as worth it in my brain it probably would have been worth it but it wouldn't have felt worth it but when you get that stuff for free that's amazing just for doing your job right and then Chris and I are going to Panama and we want all of you to come with us <laughs> yeah free trips are kind of a big deal around here too and one day you're going to see my name on the trip tracker ahead of Carissa's I promise one day it's gonna happen maybe in two years <laughs> or something and that's not in a bad way. P.S. I love chasing her. It makes me feel like as I get a little closer, I'm like, I'm only 20,000 points behind her this month. So it's fun. But we hope all of you find that that person or that um, that group of people from this group potentially that are, you're going to chase. You're going to have fun with it. It's not a jealousy thing. I love Carissa's business and I love my business and I'm proud of it. And I love looking up to people that are better in, in different areas than me and saying, oh my gosh, look at her points for sales. I got to get some more points for sales. And so it's so fun for me to, to do that. So Panama. Um, and then the biggest thing that I was going to share, the perk is you guys, you're on the map once you're a leader. And I didn't think this really mattered, but recently Devin, who's brand new on our team, she came to our team meeting this last weekend. She told me that's how she found me. And she shared what a great um, testimony to my loyalty to, to Wild Tree reps. Um, when she reached out to me, I asked her if she had ever worked with another rep, said I ever want to take somebody else's recruit. And she had said no. And she told me her whole story. And I signed her up. And she's thrilled to be on our team. And what a great week, right? Like, okay, that's awesome. And then today, someone found me on the website. They've been looking for a rep to do a party. Their rep hasn't been doing Wild Tree for years. And they found me and they'd like me to do it. And so I'm booking an October party. And I just thought, like, what a perk to be on that map. Like, people are finding my name. And it's not every day. But you also get handed orders from home office. If somebody calls an order in or gets a hold of Wild Tree and there's no rep, they give it to the closest leader or above. And so you need to be a team leader. So there's just so many perks to that. I mean, Krista, you've reaped benefits from that before, right? Yeah. It's yeah. Awesome. Next, it is. 
It's kind of fun. It's not funny, but it's kind of ironic you say that because the whole reason why I met um, Miranda, who she's, I think she's on this call, um, total rock star. She, I met her through someone that found me on the map in Green Bay, and that's wow. how Miranda and I connected. So I think, I yeah, that's I forget about that one too, but that's awesome that people yeah. can find you and. They really do treat the team leaders with a high level of excellence and rewards. And um, this is a secret, so please don't repeat this, but we are initiating, it'll be announced at RISE conference, some new onboarding things, some new um, tools to help us that Wild Tree's never seen in 21 years that we desperately need. So you really do want to get to this conference if you want Wild Tree to be a home for you, part-time or full-time. But also, they're going to announce Leader School, which is something new where after you get to Leader, they don't don't want leaders to get there and then feel burnt out or they drop off or whatever. They want to help you with skills. So they are going to be announcing that several times a year, they'll be hold, holding affordable leader schools um, around the country is what it sounds like. And we're really excited about that too. So stay tuned for that. So I know that because it was um, kind of fed to us on a director call and I just want to keep that between us, but I did see the calendar and they are scheduled for next year already. So that's pretty exciting. So I just feel really proud to represent a company that's taking our concerns like helping leaders get to leadership and then what do they do after they get there? And they really want to build those people up and help you guys long-term run a business and not just hit a promotion mm -hmm. and, and then feel like, Oh my gosh, that was so much work. I don't want to do it. Like listen to what Chris and I have to say, find your niche, find your brand over the next couple of weeks. Um, but don't burn out. Set a strong vision that motivates you to do the daily tasks and then use the tracker to track your work. That's my best advice. Yeah, did you want to talk about vision? Yeah, figure it out, people. <laughs> I And please don't, okay, so a lot. some of the girls on here know, have gotten to know me the last two months and gotten to know Kayla last month, know that we're not, we're not like, we might come off like very like sometimes, but really we're very, we're silly and we act crazy. And we, we hope that you go along with our idea, our ideas and like what we might suggest and just trust in us that we're going to lead you down the right path. And, um, you know, we're not going to just leave you hanging out in the dark or we're not going to be mad at something if you do something, but you'll, you'll kind of get to know our personalities real quick and just, you know, hopefully like us <laughs> only two things that annoy me <laughs> Sending me a Facebook message asking me for documents don't do that that really just makes me mad the, at, my, at my team meeting this weekend I quizzed everybody in the room it was the best thing ever I said and how would you request those documents from me and everyone in the room was like via email like I just so if you ever need anything I'm you can, more the messenger like for no, me it's don't a messenger request for a document. It makes me like almost like I could just, I won't ever mean to you back, but I would just be like, hey, just a sweet reminder to, anyway, so that, that, and then the only other thing really is um, if you, lit if I see you like literally playing around on Facebook, like playing games or posting funny things and stuff, and then I hear the words that you're too busy to do your business, I, that doesn't make me mad, but it just means that you're not in a place where this group is the right fit for you. You might also might not be in a place where being an entrepreneur is the right fit for you. I'm just going to be bold and say that like it is you, discipline. Discipline is how I got here. And I, and I don't mean that like I didn't, I don't work 24 seven. Like I have fun too. This morning we went to Starbucks. I had black coffee because I'm out of clunk, but it's fine. It doesn't matter. I got to go to Starbucks with my husband, went to the museum, um, had lunch together, had a great afternoon. Tonight I'm going to take a bath and not work at all after this call. Like it's not all work, but man, when I sit down to work, you guys, I work. That's why I need the document email, not in my Facebook messenger where it keeps dinging all day long. So. I like it in my Facebook messenger because then I can remember to do it. I don't know. But You're so if anyone needs documents, you can Facebook messenger me. Okay. Yeah. yeah, everybody go to Carissa. No, I'm kidding. That's not fair. Do not do that. Do not do that. Um, actually, what's great is sometimes if you need something, post it in this group page for now, yes. too, because then if somebody else has it, they'll post it before us. Otherwise, we can upload it and everybody can get it at one shot. That's actually the smarter way all around to share yeah, docs. For sure. And, yeah, and as you've noticed, Chris, I've been trying to do a better job of uploading things to Google Docs and sharing it in my team page, and then you can snag that link and share it with your team, too. So, okay. No, I need better than that questions for us. So just really quick, I'm a big, like, let's go back over the homework, read the pin post, comment that you get it, um, read everybody's intro and then commit to yourself. Like, what are you doing here? 
I know Brandy's vision. She shares it with me often. And that's why Brandy's doing a stellar job when things don't go exactly her way or hostesses aren't quite getting it. And she's so professional and so precise with what she's doing. Um, we're just looking for those magic parties for her at this point. Those couple of parties that are going to lead her to two to three bookings outside of her circle. But her vision is what's making her do the work. And she joined um, the second week in July right before conference. And she's just a rock star. And I'm using you, Brandy, as an example because your vision is strong because you're in a place where you have a need. You have a driving need in your life that's causing you to want to do it. So that's, I mean, that's just awesome. I can't say it enough. So if you don't have that, it doesn't have to be money, but it has to be something. Um, night out of the house, something that's yours that you own, that you get to be successful with. Friendships, the community, the networking. Um, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I remember like when I was working full time, it wasn't just money. I wanted to make about $1,000 a month. But after that, like it was way more about the recognition. Once my name started hitting the top of leaders, I wanted to keep, I just don't want to be out of the top 10. And now as a director, it's harder. Obviously my competition is stiffer. I really don't want to be out of the top 10. Carissa knows like it, like um, that, that for me though, that motivates me, motivates me to get up and do the work and not just dink around on Facebook. So, um, so have a need. Carissa, what about you? What are some things that you know that drives your team or that drives people? Um, well, the big, biggest one is, um, helping people. I, well, I hear a lot of people say that they want to help people, um, help people around them, like eat healthier or, um, just share the, the products to make life easier because we're just, I mean, in all reality, we're in a fast paced society where we're going, going, going. It's like a million miles a minute and there's no like real, like, you know, it's like you're walking in and out the door. There's no family time anymore. So I hear that one a lot. Um, and then I hear, um, money for their kids, um, money for their kids, whether it's for sports or dance lessons or, um, to show, um, their kids that mom can, can make an income and still be at home and be present with them and still, um, you know, raise them. So those are two big ones. Obviously income's a big, a big, um, big one for me. In the beginning for me, it was just $500 a month. I wanted to promote to team leader because, um, I wanted $500 a month. Um, and I wanted, um, to stay at home. So I thought team leader, more responsibility, maybe, um, you know, with like a team and stuff, but I only wanted 500. I say only because, um, you can make so much more with a month at, with wild tree, um, being a team leader. So I wanted $500 a month cause I want to pay for my van and, um, stay home with my kids. And I knew that if I was contributing something, my husband was, you know, he, he wanted me to stay home anyway. Um, and then I started thinking like, you know what? I went to school. I went to college. I have a degree. I want to use what I learned and apply it to something, but I don't want to do it for somebody else. So um, then it kind of changed into the whole um, personal growth for me. And now I'm to a point where I'm like, okay, um, I want income times $500 times like 10. You know, I want, I want to be able to just take my kids on a vacation on where Kayla and I were talking. I want to go on a Disney cruise with them. I want to take them to, you know, um, Disney, Disneyland in, in Florida. I, I, but I don't want to have to save up. I think I said this to Kayla the other night. I don't want to save. I don't want to save up for a year just to take my kids on vacation or, um, to set or for whatever, sir. I don't know, whatever, whatever we're doing. I don't want to have to save up. If we have to get, remodel done the house I don't want to be like well we can do that in two years when we save up for it like wild trees become that extra bucket of money for the fun for the emergencies for the trips all of it not just one thing all of those things like I can go into my um for my wild I can count on wild tree to be that so um yeah that's just kind of all all the above but yeah, I would say like, so I just reset my vision recently. Chris and I kind of talked it out loud last night. I had been talking it out loud with other people. It's really helpful if you need someone to talk your vision out loud with. This group's a great place to do that. P.S. You can create vision boards online. There's a couple apps. 
you can um, just do what we did at our team meeting, which was show a couple of vision boards and then give everybody the homework in my org to make a vision board. Or I like to call a dream jar too, um, where you take a jar, everyone knows I do this, and you put all your dreams for that year or your top 10 things you want to do with your business in that jar. And then as you do things, anything that's a big deal to your family, you take the done jar. So a dream jar and a done jar, and you put all your receipts, your ticket stubs, for us right now, it's so full. We have two done jars. We had to go get another one. This year has been incredible for my family. Things that I never thought I could do on one income, I've been able to do. And so let me just quickly share. There's crushed pennies from January when we went to St. Louis for a leadership conference. My family got to come along. I could afford to take my family, put them up in a hotel while I was at training. Krista was pregnant. I will never forget that. And I was able to then swim with them in the evening and do dinner. And we went to the zoo and we did all the brewery there. Um, and we bought souvenirs from McCulley. We don't have to worry. We just got back from New York City. You guys, you know, like what a restaurant bill was for us, like a dinner and two drinks. Crazy. Put those receipts in there. Like that stuff was total um, blessing thanks to Wild Tree. So it might not be travel for you guys. But having that in that jar that, that we had vision and we wanted to go to a concert this year, we wanted to take a few more trips, huge. My current vision, okay, um, my current vision has changed to where I would, I'm focusing more on what the business is doing for us, like as a family. So I'm going to work really, really hard all month long. Carissa knows this, all 12 months of next year. But at least once a month, my family's going away for a night or on a trip. And you might think 12 trips, that could be Lake Geneva or Wisconsin Dells. Or some of the months, it's Punta Cana we're going to. We're going to Mexico. We're going to Vegas. We're going to, to Denver, Colorado. We're going to um, Panama. Some Macaulay's coming on, some he's not. Now, why do I share that? Not to brag, but to say, like, gosh, if I would have ever thought as a team leader back then that I was creating the kind of momentum where I've pretty much kept pace. And of course I do a few more events now a month than I used to do, but you guys, it all starts with this group. Like this really is the start of your future. So make sure you set a vision. I can't say it enough. So if you want to come over and have a dream jar party for 2018, you're all invited because my team's been asking if I want to do that. Cause we love to like take sheets of paper, write our dreams on them, put them in the jar. And then on new year's Eve, we're going to break these jars and look at everything we did over the last year. It's a really cool concept. So. I don't know. Yeah. I guess Wild Tree taught me to dream. To be really honest, Wild Tree just gave me hope in my life when I'm not happy with something like my weight right now and I'm not picking on my body, but like truthfully, I've let it go. I can fix it. I have the time and the capacity and the tools, the meals. I can live a life that I'm proud of. I can work with people like Carissa and you guys that I want to work with and I can be a professional and have something that's mine, but still be mom to little Macaulay who's eating graham crackers, like literally right next to me. You just can't see them. So anyway, that's, that's what I would say to start this group out. You, you got to have vision and you got to commit to doing the work and guys, the group doesn't last forever. So if in six or eight weeks, you're like, I don't know, it's not for me, stick with it and give it a shot, but it's okay. We love you just the same, but we just want you to know, like you're committing to this for a few weeks to be fair to the group. Anything else there any questions or anything? Does so anyone have any questions or? Anyone? Everyone's quiet. This tea is so good. I love tea. I love coffee more, but I really love tea. Everyone's, everyone's probably like, stop talking, ladies. It's nine o'clock. I'm ready for bed. <laughs> I know. That's why we're going to do, again, we're going to really try to be a time and not talk every week, but yeah. we'll be doing videos. We'll be. Oh, go ahead. That's the only other, the only other thing I'm like pointing my pencil. Um, that's the only other thing too, is, um, just when I said in the beginning, like come positive and, um, you know, come positive and ready to go and come with questions. There's no dumb questions. There's no wrong questions. Come with ideas. Like we don't, Kayla and I don't like listen to each other talk all the time. I mean, we talk all day long. So if someone else can come on and talk and share things, that would be awesome too. We got a really good question down below, but person who just asked it, can you tell me who you are? Because it just shows you as a number one. But they asked, what does it take to get to team leader? So while they're going to type hopefully who they are, it, that's a really good question. I can't believe we didn't tell you. It's $3,500 team volume. So at first it sounds overwhelming. Just let me explain. 
$3,500 team volume. And that is every month. Okay, Amanda, it's Amanda. Okay. So, and then between you and two people, so we say you plus two, you have to do that amount. Each of you have to pull 350 individually. So, so Amanda, you have to, right? Was Amanda? Did I just remember yeah. that? Yeah. Like, no. You have to do 350. Teammate number one has to do 350 Ooh. and teammate number two has to do 350. Your teammates can be like you recruit, sorry, my lips are chapped. You recruit Susie and Susie recruits Sally. And the three of you make the 3,500 and every 350, that counts. Or you can recruit Susie and you can recruit Sally. It doesn't matter if they're direct or indirect, but somehow you have to start to form a team with you plus two. Everybody doing a BQ amount. That's what we call bonus qualified of 350 and total team volume of 3,500. And then you have to do that two months in a row before you promote. So Kim, I don't know if she's on. She is going for it this month. Miranda's going for it this month. Miranda's in her second month. So when she hits this month, when she hits this month, she'll promote out. Um, Jessica Huffman is not on this call tonight, but she's in her second month of qualification. So basically 3,500 as a team, you keep sharing the opportunity is the goal so that you're not stressed trying to make the 3,500. Mm-hmm. The question good, Carissa? Yeah. I can't believe we didn't say that in the beginning, but. Yeah. Last time, that's what we focused the whole first call on, I felt like, and this time we need to tell you how to get there. We're like, get some vision and just go for it. Okay, so one more time. You, two recruits. Why do you think that this, this time around we're saying do one event a week minimum and one or two recruits a month? Because no matter what, then that means if one of your recruits gets sick, or has a bunch of cancellations and they put in zero, you cannot bank as a new team leader on two teammates and yourself. Sometimes you're gonna have a flop of a month. You're gonna have a month where you cannot find the sales for the life of you. It just didn't, the cards are not in your, your paper. But if you can at least get in the habit of being consistent, you the numbers get easier and easier and easier. I think, Carissa, what, when were you qualified this month? For sure by the 15th, way before that probably, right? Wait, me? Yeah. Wait, okay, right now? Yeah, this month. When yeah. were you? Um, I think it's by like the 11th or 12th. Okay. My team was qualified on the third. The yeah. third month. So think about how easy it gets if you work your business consistently. I know Carissa had one month where like the second she called me. She's like, we're at 4,500. I'm like, what? So some months are just awesome. But then there's other months where it takes us till the 20th. And we don't even hit mid-month mints. So why I share that is you just have to, we're going to teach you consistency so it gets easier and easier and easier. But in the beginning, you're going for two plus you and 3,500 as a team. And yes, it's very doable. It adds up fast. And that's why you're in this group because we're going to help you do that. Yes. Sorry, sorry, Amanda. We never said that. You can already give us an F on our report card. At the end of this, we'll ask you how we did. Keep that in mind that we never taught how to get to lead. What other questions? Concerns. Positive. Cut us off. Two minutes. Is that what it says? Yep. Okay. Anyone else? We have the best org ever. Hello. Hi, Brandy. Hey, girl. I'm busy, like, talking and trying to recruit, so, you know. Good. Go recruit yep. and look. We're going to, we're going to, this is going to be your month. Yep. Actually, be it. Mo Multitasking, man. I basically feel like the luckiest leader ever, that I have the coolest pacing partner in the whole company, and then I have the most amazing teammates, and I get to work with another organization who is ethical and professional. I really, I'm not just saying that. Like, I really do feel like the last week, God has put on my heart, like, just be so grateful in this season and keep doing what you're doing. Like, the consistent efforts pay off, and I'm just really grateful. So happy that you're on, Brandy. Thank you. Thank you for being there for me. All of you are awesome. Okay. So we'll post when we're going to chat next, but in the meantime, we want to see some activity in the page. If you have more to share about your story or you want to share your vision, we would love to. <laughs> um, <laughs> I love the little one. <laughs> um, and, and if you need help 
reach out now. Don't wait. Right, Carissa? Is, wouldn't that be your advice? Like, let's get you in yes. a place where October and November is lined yes. up strong. Don't wait till the 15th of October to tell us. <laughs> tell us tonight. Yeah, and, and you're all capable. You're all capable and just... So we'll talk more about like positive affirmations and things like that. That's one thing we didn't talk about either, but we'll do like positive affirmations and we'll have you all share one a week. Like every Wednesday, I think we're going to have one person start sharing positive affirmations. So, oh. um, yes, we forgot to talk about that. We'll talk about it this week. We'll go live and explain. We're going to have you guys take a turn. Brandy's going to excel at this being the most positive person of the week and cheering, basically cheering everybody that week. You'll take ownership for one week. And you know, you're not going to be on Facebook all the time or anything crazy, but just posting more positive quotes that week, commenting on each other's posts. You're kind of be the advocate for the group and that positive person. And then that will be reciprocated back to you each week by somebody else. Um, that was a really neat idea that we had never thought of before. Hey, hey, quick ladies. Um, for the Discover Wild Tree, what are we doing again? We're doing every, every Sunday. Other, uh, we're every Sunday in October. 